Hi, this is Mary from Reviewer's Diary, and this video will go up today. Today is Sunday, so I'm doing my best to make sure that all of my sample Sunday videos are up on time. I do have a couple samples from an unboxing that you will see in the future. Let's go through these things. There are only two items that I did not try. I carried this downstairs and I kind of screwed up a little bit and knocking everything around, but I do use a bag because um, some of the things that I bring into the shower with me get kind of wet and I don't want to ruin this beautiful box. So this I did not try. It is kale and green tea hyaluronic acid um, cream and I did not try the um, Clean It Zero. Um, both of these items I am going to carry over into the next box. I hope I'm close enough for you to really actually see stuff. Um, I just I'm zooming in also because there are some products here that I'm going to want to put on and give you a, a look at. So anyway, I will carry these two things over. Everything else I did try. So now you're nice and close. So I'm going to just dump all this stuff. No, I'm not going to. I don't want to wreck my box. <laughs> I'm just going to start pulling from the top of this bag. Okay. So, um, first I did try this eye cream. This is Dr. Lily Fawn. It's very thick, very heavy. My biggest worry is they'll develop some milia, but it did really hydrate my eye area really nicely. So you can see the consistency of it is very heavy. I think this is one that I would use more at night than um, daytime because it just might be a, a tad too heavy unless you have super dry under eyes. It does feel really good. Um, but I think it's more for nighttime for me. So I'm gonna probably continue to use this until it's gone. It doesn't have, let's see. It does have a slight citrusy smell, but it's so slight that you have to like put your nose up to your hand in order to smell it. Um, so I think that it'll probably dissipate pretty quickly. So I do really like this, but I don't know that I would write home about it. I'm not sure that I would actually buy this, um, but I'll certainly enjoy finishing it. Next, um, let's just pull from the top. This Jergens Lavender Cream. This is so freaking nice. This is so nice. Um, I wish it was cruelty free. Unfortunately, it's not. The lavender scent in this is um, very, very slight, not, not, uh, real strong at all. And it is a really nice cream. Um, it's a cream cream. Cause so you'll see another one in here is like a gel cream. Um, but it's a regular cream and it's awesome. It's not too thick to squirt through the tube and it, it's called a body butter, but it's just loose enough for you to be able to put it on. I'm going to finish this. I'm going to use it all over my body one night after my shower and love every second of it and enjoy this. This is a full ounce, so it might actually last me a couple of showers. Mm. You know, this is getting tiresome. Let's get the wet thing out of here. Okay, this is the thing I was worried about. Okay, this Gentle Color Protection Birch Bark Extract Shampoo and Conditioner. I really wish Herbal Essences was cruelty free. It's not. This smelled so wonderful. I did not have enough conditioner for my head though when I uh, got to the conditioner phase. So I did have to add some extra conditioner. Okay, these are a little bit stronger than I anticipated, but I have not been using actives on my face. So I'm just getting back into using actives. I actually broke out after I used this. I think I'm going to just continue to use these until they're gone. Okay, this is very nice, but what the hell is all the fuss about? It does smell fabulous. It smells absolutely fabulous, but it doesn't smell so fabulous the way the influencers on YouTube are making it sound. Uh, honestly, if this scent came in a cologne bottle, I would buy it. 
but to spend a tremendous amount of money on the Sol de Janeiro um, bum bum cream is a waste of your money. I'm sorry, guys. Like, you know, if you can purchase or uh, trade for, if you're in a trading um, environment anywhere, because there are a lot of different trade areas, I would just trade for one of these little ones and try it. You'll see that it smells freaking amazing, but influencers are making it sound like it's secondary to freaking God. You know, it's not. It's There's nothing revolutionary about this stuff. It's moisturizing, very nice. You know, I, that's been bothering me for a while, can you tell? Okay, and I also tried this sleeping mask. It's Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. Oh, don't bother. Um, I'll use it until it's gone, but as you can see, I hope you can see, it's just like a gel. Uh, it's very thin. Uh, it doesn't... It, I, the, when I used it, it didn't... Most sleeping masks, they make you feel like your skin is like a new penny when you get up in the morning. This did not do that for me. I will finish it. I'm actually thinking about doing a video that has all of my sleeping masks and rating what I have. Now, I don't believe in these videos where rating... Uh, a lot of times people are honest and they say my palettes, but they'll say rating all the, all the creams 1 through 10 or whatever. Rating... You can't rate stuff that you don't own and, and use. So anyway, I, if there is a 1 to 10, I don't think I have 10, this would be at the bottom. Honestly, don't waste your money. Honestly, unless you're really oily, where this might be a good thing to use, I wouldn't bother. I'll finish it though. Okay, another thing that I'll finish and never purchase because Dr. Jart is not cruelty free. This is a Sikapar cream. Oh my God. Let me just say, well, I used quite a bit of it. There's hardly any left, so I'll finish that. I put some on my arms. You know, I'm always complaining in my videos about how dry my arms are. I'm getting older. My skin is getting a little thinner on my arms. And, you know, I'll bang into a door jam and, and get like a skin tear or I bruise or whatever very easily um, and that's uh, I've seen my doctor about that by the way so it's nothing to be concerned about it's just age I remember when I was taking care of elderly patients in the hospital you had to be very careful um, about their skin so I guess I'm starting to be that person so anyway this Sikapar is really really awesome let me just smell it one more time so I can describe mm. It just has like a really nice natural smell to it without being overpowering. I didn't use it on my face. This is a, um, I think it's something you normally would use on your face, but you know, I have to be careful because I'm also using up other stuff that I've been using consistently on my face. So this um, is really, really nice. It's a cream cream. You can see it's quite green, but and you can see how heavy it is. When you rub it in, the green disappears. I think the green is there to reduce the appearance of inflammation, but it really did a beautiful job on my arms. So I'll finish this next shower, throw this on my arms, and finish off this uh, delightful little sample. This was really good. I really liked it. This Curel is the cream I was talking about that's more like a gel cream. Let me just see if get some out. Okay. It's really nice, and I really love Curel, um, but it's not cruelty-free. So you can see it's it's actually like a gel. It's not a cream cream like the lavender stuff is, but it rubs in very nicely, and it moisturizes very well. Uh, so it's just a different delivery system, but it's every bit as moisturizing as any cream I have ever used. So this is the Hydra silk moisture and it says immediately absorbs delivers long-lasting non-greasy moisture and that's actually quite true i'm going to just finish this tube i really do enjoy this i wish they were cruelty free okay this is going in the garbage 
this Arcona. When I have more than one of an item, I tend to take it out both at the same time. In this case, I'm glad I did. I don't like this. Let's see, which one did I open? Not this one. This I might pass this on to my daughter, this unopened one, but this one that I used is going in the trash. Uh, it's This is what the consistency is like. And it's a very harsh scrub. It's like really, like if you need to exfoliate, yeah, that's it's great. But, you know, and you can't see any appreciable bits in it. It's like kind of like weird that it's so um, grainy. But I don't, I don't really don't like it. I really didn't like it at all. Um, it didn't dry my skin out, but I just... It's not something that I think I'll ever enjoy using. So I'll give my daughter this one that's unused and I'll want to toss. Well, maybe I'll, there's a, still a lot in here. Maybe I'll give them both to her. Finally tried the hairspray and it smells fantastic. It's Pantene. I don't use a lot of hairspray, so, you know, I'll, I'll use this one up since I already started it, but yeah, it's one ounce. It's quite a bit of hairspray. Maybe I'll just put it back into my bunch of travel size stuff. I don't know. I have to think about it. This would keep forever. It's inside of a sealed can. I think it would keep, but I should probably just use it up. This is very nice. It smells really nice. It's a little bit strong of a hold for me. Like I'd like a little bit softer hold, but this was really nice. By the way, how you like him being able to actually see things up close and personal? Anyway, there is one more thing in this bag, and I do really like it, and I like the smell of it. I'm going to keep this out because I have a blow dryer that I'm going to be trying out um, that I bought. I bought one of those blow drying brushes so that you can not lose the body in your hair, and so I'm going to give this a try. This is. I tried this, it's a blowout spray, but I also used it on dry hair and I used it on wet hair. And both times it worked really nicely. It has a very light scent. It's really awesome. So I really like that. So I did try a lot of things because I had carried over three items from the last box. Uh, and you can see that I, I used, um, I actually used 11 of them because I had 13 total. And so I'm going to carry these two over. And again, just to, to reiterate, this is kale and spinach green tea hyaluronic acid moisturizer. It's in a glass jar, which I do appreciate. I think I might reuse this glass jar if I can get the label off. There's quite a bit of labeling on there. It's from youth to the people. And I, I think this will be nice. I have to wait and see. I hear a lot of good things about this brand. And I love cleansing balm, so I will give this a try. Um, Clean It Zero, it, it's, I believe, cruelty-free. This has a hugely long expiration date out into 2022, so I'm good to go with that one. So now I'm going to add 10 items. When I carry things over, I don't typically count those carryovers as um, part of my 10. So I got three items in my recent Beauty Fix um, order that I'm really anxious to try. And I had said in my unboxing, which you may see later, that I was excited to get the Skin Medica sample. Skin Medica, as far as I can tell with my last check, was still cruelty free. So I am really excited to try this. I don't know how expensive the neck cream is. I don't know. I'm a fan of neck cream, but I have another jar full of neck cream uh, above and beyond the one that I am um, currently finishing up. Okay, so, and the other one is in, uh, what is that in? That is in Declutter Project Pan. Anyway, this is a sunscreen, Neova um, Smart Skin Care. It's it says SLC Sheer 2.0. Um, it's got a, I don't know if it's really, sh you know, 
sheer because it has a photo finish tint. I don't know what that means. I'll have to figure it out. It may be that it doesn't give you flashback. The next item is a retinol, which is good because I have been abandoning my retinol of late. And uh, this is Retinol B3 Serum. Let's see how the tube is, I'm sure, incredibly small. Um, it is from La Roche Posay, which is not a cruelty free brand. Ooh, and a nice little tube and very full, very full. Let's see the, on the box it gives how much. There are 5 mLs. So uh, it's not very much, but it's certainly enough to give a try for a couple of days. Uh, I am looking forward to using that. I have to ease myself back into retinols for sure. Okay, whoops. Now I need seven more items. So I'm gonna pull my box over. <laughs> I only brought this one down because uh, the other one was just unmanageable with the dog and everything. Ooh, let me turn this this way. Okay, so I'm not going to put this sample that I also got in Beauty Fix because it's another neck cream. So I'm not going to do two neck creams. I just want to try one for now. This may be next time. Okay, so, uh, you know what? Let me pick this big thing off the top. Oh, yeah. This is from Nature Lab. Um, what are you? Clarifying Scalp Scrub. Oh my God. This might be... Let me open it. Oh. I like this packaging where there's like a little plastic disc, but anyway, yeah, it looks really good. It smells really good. Yeah, that looks like it would be a really good product for my hair, and I really like this brand. I have to check to see if they're cruelty-free or not. So that is four. I see a shampoo and conditioner, and I don't have a shampoo and conditioner. Whoops, where's the conditioner? Um... I do have the conditioner somewhere. Well, I'll find it off screen. I'm quite sure that I have the conditioner that matches this Rahua. Um, let's see. I'll find it off screen. So anyway, that the shampoo and conditioner, this is actually the conditioner end. So I'll find the shampoo um, in this bucket. It's in here somewhere. And uh, we'll definitely try both of these together. That'll be nice. I, I learned my lesson, though, from last time when I put in um, two shampoos and conditioners when I only wash my hair about once a week, maybe a little bit more often if necessary, but I only wash it really once a week, so I didn't want to um, have two you know, shampoo conditioner things. So that I'm going to count as one thing when I find the other one. So that is now five. Okay. I'm just gonna dig. Uh, okay, I got this bag. Now it's inside, I don't know. Um, it is, thank you, blah, blah, for being a subscriber. This was from Allure, I think. Um, Yep, inside the bag was an eye cream. A more Pacific time response eye reserve cream. Okay, well, I pulled it, so I have to use it. <laughs> so that's the way that goes. Okay, so now I have another eye cream to deal with. Okay, and let me dig it a little bit more. Oh, I feel something. Oh. Okay, well, I did say I wanted to get into retinols, didn't I? So I guess I will try this. The, my big problem with Sunday Riley on this product is that they put dye in it. It's not blue from Blue Tansy. It's not. It's just got freaking blue dye. You know, I wish they would just take it out, but I will give this a try. Some people love this, and um, maybe I'll be one of them. Who knows? Okay, it's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Okay, I need three more. Oh no, I already have this. Um, yeah, I already have that. 
not in this, but in another product project. Okay. Uh, this is Seaweed Marine Restoring Serum. I like serums. I'm happy. So I will definitely use that. So that now makes three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. What is this that keeps popping up? Oh, cleansing balm from Rodeal. I like Rodeal. I really like Rodeal, <laughs> but it's bee venom, which I think is bullshit. Sorry. Um, you know, I, and plus if they're, I don't know how they get the bee venom and that kind of bothers me, but let's wait and see. And now I have to pick one more item. Okay, this is um, Pomegranate Chorus. I love Chorus already, I found out. Um, and this is a moisturizer. Should I pull another moisturizer? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm ready to try another moisturizer. I have so many. Well, you know what? I'll go ahead and take this and try it. I could throw a couple of these little packs in too, which I think I will as extras. Okay, because I have a lot of them. Okay, so this is Chorus Pomegranate Balancing Cream Gel Moisturizer for Oily and Combination Skin. Oh, crap. I think I have to give this away. I'll try it. Maybe it'll, cause I, I, you know, I use like 50 steps to my skincare, so it might work out. I'm not oily though. I'm just normal and I'm not combination. Shoot. But I love Cora's. <sighs> I think I have to give this away. All right. So I'm going to declutter that. Um, I'm decluttering this because it's for oily skin and my daughter has a friend who has oily skin. She'll probably enjoy that. All right, so let me pull these aside and reach in for something else. Okay, oh, this is a brand I like. It's a, a refining facial. I have to think it might be a mask. So I'll uh, let you know in the um, bar below. Okay, so that makes all ten of our items, not counting these two. I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I do have to find the companion to this conditioner. Um, now I'm going to also throw in a couple of foil packs. Oh God, I love Strivectin so much. Okay, this may not just be for your face because it's also for stretch marks. Oops, sorry about that. I had to change my battery. All right, so um, these two I would put in together. They are Strivectin ST Intensive Concentrate for Wrinkles and Stretch Marks. I'll read the back of this and I'll just let you know. I think it might be more than, it might be face and body. I'm not positive. So since I have two of these, I'm gonna put both of them in. Anytime I have two of anything, I'm going to add to both of them. So now you can see all the items that I've chosen. Um, there are two that were already there. I'm going to look for the shampoo companion to this Rahua. Um, I picked a retinol, retinol, um, and three samples from, uh, let's see, two of them are from, actually these three samples are from Beauty Fix. So I don't mind getting samples. Honestly, I know people get really mad when they sometimes open the box, but I don't get mad. Um, I like the box. So I drew these in as extras, so they are just extra. And then I put in this one kind, I believe it is a, yeah, it says pore refining facial. I'll put down below what, what this actually is. It does say AHA and BHA. This is an Amore Pacific Time Response Eye Reserve Cream. Let's see, let me just look at this. That way I can show you the jar. Okay, there is not much in here, because as you can see, the jar is kind of hollow bottomed. 
but I know how these open weirdly, so I'm not going to open it now. I'll open it when I go to try it, and I will probably arrive back in this um, as in the box, because that way I can give you more information. Okay, um, I'm going to find the companion to that shampoo. This is a scalp scrub, and I couldn't get the cap on exactly right. Um, so I'm going to definitely put this in the shower and start using that. I love that brand. Love it. And uh, then, of course, there is Rodeal Bee Venom um, Cleansing Balm. Cleansing Balm. Hmm. I'll have to look at this and see if it's actually a good one for removing makeup, you know, along with other bombs. So... I think this is a pretty good bunch of stuff. It's all stuff that I'm pretty excited to try. So I will get back to you with um, what my results are like. I did declutter one of the items that I pulled because it's for oily skin. So um, yeah, this is actually really nice. This is a good way to try everything that you have and find out just what do you love, you know, <laughs> so. <laughs> This is a, a fun way to try stuff. So anyway, thank you, and um, I'll see you next week with another sample Sunday. And hopefully I will have tried all of these things. It actually equals out to 12 with the two I didn't uh, make it into last week and the two foil packets. So I guess you could say it's 14, but I'm, I won't go that far. I'm only going to count these as one item. So... <clears throat> Yeah, I actually have 13 items again. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. This has been Mary with Reviewer's Diary. I really enjoy doing this sample Sunday, um, and I hope you enjoy it too. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for coming and spending your time with me today, and have a beautiful evening. Good night.